In the middle return man at the five is Dell Montgomery. Keith Wagaspak waiting for the go, and he has it now. And we'll uh, begin his approach to the ball. Here it is. It's the cruise kick. It's in under in. And will be short. Ryan Bruton on the far side of the field at the five, at the 10, to the 15, down the sideline. He goes tripped up as he hits the 22. And about the 23-yard line is where it will be marked. Houston has the ball at the 24. And Clay Elton again is the quarterback. Come out with a full house backfield. It'll go to Jermaine Williams, and he's tripped up behind the line of scrimmage back at the 23-yard line. First man to get a hand on him was Reggie Brown. Full back is Bobby Rodriguez. The tailback is Jermaine Williams. Slot right tight end on the left side is Harold. Helton takes the ball. Play action. High hands off in the backfield. Caught and dropped back at the 21 will be Jermaine Williams by Antonio Armstrong. It will be his seventh tackle behind the line of scrimmage this season. Armstrong on the stop for a &M. Come out in a split back formation. Again, a slot to the right side. And the tight end to the left, short side of the field. Helton looks over the defense. Straight drop, five-yard pocket. Now being forced out, rolling back to the right. Throws the ball high over the head of the intended receiver at about the 24-yard line. No chance to make the reception would be Ron Peters. So it will be fourth down. And onto the field comes the best putter in the Southwest Conference, Jason Stott, averaging 44.4 per kick this season. Back deep for the Aggies will be Billy Mitchell. He's standing at the 35. Good punt by Stoff. He will take it at the 34. Cuts back to his right. Got a block at the corner. Cuts it upfield out of the 45. There's a flag down. We got some extracurricular activity going behind the ball back at the 40-yard line. Holding against the Aggies on the kick. And a and with Corey Pulling comes to the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage again to the 29. Full back, it come, they'll come out on a heavy eye, and it's play action. Pulling, throwing on first down to the far sideline. It'll be caught by Ryan Matthews on the sideline at the 36-yard line. A gain of seven, John Brown defensively. A&M just threw on first down. From there, 29, got it across the 35 to about the 36, a pass to Ryan Matthews. Great drop again, Pulling, throwing in the flats on the left side to Rodney Thomas at the 40, jumps over a pile at the 43 and falls forward to the 45-yard line. Rodney Thomas out of the backfield in the flats on the left side. Nice pass thrown right to his hands by Corey Pulling. Well, the Houston defense having great respect for the Aggies' running ability, uh, putting eight men up on the line of scrimmage, just daring uh, Corey Pulling to throw, and he's two for two so far. Aggies come out in a heavy eye, and they'll keep it on the ground to Rodney Thomas, looking for the left corner, cuts it back to his right, gets the line of scrimmage, and maybe a half yard more. Keon Banks was the first man to hit him. Here's a second down and a long nine. Again, Gross is the lead back. He's flexed off to the right side in a heavy eye. Play action, pulling, rolling to the right, looking downfield, throws the ball, intercepted under deflection. There is a flag down, however, and it's going to be pass interference against the University of Houston. And it'll be a first down and 10 for Texas A&M at the Houston 47. Aggies come out and show a eye formation. And, and Leland, Leland McElroy. McElroy. Leland yeah. McElroy has checked into the ball game. Leland into the game, 52 carries, 305 yards, averaging 72 a game. And they'll give it to Leland on the first play after the penalty, and he'll take it to the 40. A pickup of seven by Leland McElroy to the 40-yard line. Matthews comes in this direction over on the far side is Chris Sanders. And again, McElroy stays in at the tailback. Cliff Gross, the fullback. Short drop, loft the ball, left side, looking for it. Goes out of bounds, intended on the sideline here toward Ryan Matthews. Sanders goes to the right side. Matthews and Kevin Byrne come to the left side. And it's a shotgun on third down and about four for AM. Take the snap, roll to the left side. Pullock looking down the field, throws the ball, incomplete, in and out of the hands at the 34-yard line of Kevin Byrne. The return man is Lawrence McPherson. He's standing at the Houston 10. Line of scrimmage again, the Houston 40. Terry will take the snap, standing at the Aggie 45. Outside pressure, but a nice kick. He pooches one here, and they're saying get away from it. It's going to get a Aggie roll and will be killed at the Houston 10-yard line. First down and 10, Houston at their 10. The Aggies jumped off sides, made contact. We'll see if they were drawn off sides. They made contact 
and the flags go. Lot to the right, no tight end, split it off to the left side. On a single setback is Jermaine Williams, and it goes to Williams, and he has a first down across the 20 to about the 22 or 23-yard line. Junior White in defensively for a and Front three, the starters in the ball game. The Aggies, however, give them a four-man front with Antonio Shorter going to Armstrong. It is. Here is the handoff again across the 25 to about the 26. Jermaine Williams once more the tailback. And they have West, who just uh, went in motion back to the left. Now he does a pirouette, comes back to the right side. Helton with a long count once more on the ground. Goes to Jermaine Williams. Tailback on three consecutive carries. Goes to the 29-yard line. An high formation with a man in motion. Daniel Adams going back toward the middle of the field. Here is play action. Now it's a draw to the tailback, and he gets the 30, and that'll be all. Jason Stopped had a 45-yard punt his first time. The return man for the Aggies at the 27 is Billy Mitchell. Plenty of time to kick the ball, angles it toward the right sideline, and that's way out of bounds, and the Aggies stand to get pretty good field position on this thing as they start the walk up the sideline by the official here looking for Doyle Jackson to tell him where it went out of bounds. All right, the fullback is Detron Smith. Leland McElroy is the tailback. Split on the left side, Sanders. Play action, Pulling time, pumps. Now he's going deep toward the right sideline. It'll push it and shove it, and the ball was caught and then dropped. I think it may have been intercepted and then dropped down at the Houston 25-yard line. Aggies come out in a straight eye with the, the tight end on the right. A delay out of the backfield to McElroy. He is hit as he crosses the 35, and he got the line of scrimmage, Dave, to the 37-yard line. Now it'll be third down and 10. Byrne and Sanders go to the right side. We have uh, Danny McRae and Ryan Matthews on the left. It is a shotgun with Detron Smith, I believe, back to do the blocking. It is Detron. Straight drop, pulling. Time to throw. Forced out of the pocket. Now he's going to run with the ball, and he will pick up a first down. Uh, right about the point needed for the first down. He is hit and dropped at the 48-yard line. High formation again. Smith is the fullback. McElroy the tailback. Pulling calls signals. Pitches it back to McElroy. Looking for the right side. Turns the corner. Gets the 50. Got two yards. Second down and eight for a and Ball again at midfield. Same two running backs. Smith and McElroy. Straight drop. Pulling. Going to throw it in the flats. He does to McElroy. It's defended well by Houston. He caught it at the 45, got it back to midfield at the 50, and he was dropped there by Demon James. Aggies will be looking for their fourth first down of the night. They are one of two on third down conversion. Shotgun formation. Bullock standing at the Aggie 45. Balls at the 50. Straight drop. Looking to throw. He uh, throws, and he's hit as he throws the ball. Hit by... Tomathan Good. The first punt off the foot of uh, Sean Terry was a pooch kick, and he got it down the field some 29 yards. Line of scrimmage here is the 50. He stands at the 35. Outside pressure. Nice high spiral. Fair catch call for at the seven-yard line. Bobbled by McPherson, but doesn't drop it. At the seven, they'll have the uh, football. This is their fourth possession, or excuse me, third possession of the night. Clay Helton is the quarterback. Got Burton as the fullback, and Jermaine Williams the tailback. The pitch goes to Williams. Turns the corner at the 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. Has it out at the 40, across the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Pitch left, and then he ran the sideline all the way out to the Houston 43. That's 13 yards better than their greatest penetration here early on in the ball game. Burton again is the tailback. They have a slot right, tight end left. On the ground again to Jermaine Williams, and he will get about a yard, maybe two. Carry that from the 43 out to the 45. Reggie Graham on that stuff. Burton stays in at fullback. Flanker right, split in on the left. Loaded up here on the right side. Rolling right, Helton. Now he's under some pressure. He will get by the first man. Falls across the 45. Tripped up an ankle by Edward Jasper. Reached out with the right hand and sort of flipped him on the ankle. Helton comes up. He's looking the uh, Texas A&M defense over. Now he's calling an audible. Said something here to the receiver on the right side. That's Daniel Adams. They have a slot to the left. Single setback. Roll to the right. Set up. Wants to throw. Does into the Aggie bench. He threw that away. And he's blasted as he, uh, as he throws the ball. Jason Stoft waits for the snap from center. Line of scrimmage is the 46. He's standing back at the 31. Billy Mitchell. Again, he angles it for the sideline here on the right side. Mitchell, however, will take it at the 15. Gets by the first man back to the 20, about the 25-yard line. Nice return. He dodged the first man, 
down on that was uh, it'll be Pratt dodged him. Pratt went into the sideline. Here's a handoff to Rodney Thomas, and he'll pick up about seven or eight yards on a first down and ten. Rodney Thomas on the carry from the Aggie 25 across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Out of the lineup will come the tight end Hayward Clay, and Kevin Byrne will come in. Hayward starting tonight for uh, James McKeon. And bad news for the Aggie offensive line. Calvin Collins uh, just headed toward the locker room. Don't know. He was walking, so I don't know if there's anything serious. Brandon Ward has taken his place. Here's the handoff to Thomas. Has the first down, plus about five more to the 40. He's down. He's down. The ball was fumbled, but he was down at the 40-yard line. Houston trying to say they had picked up a loose ball, but he was down uh, at the 40. But back-to-back -back carries by Rodney Thomas for eight and seven yards. That's the best offense a punch of the night for the Aggies so far. Aggies come out with a heavy eye. Pulling now will come up from center and look to the right side. He's saying something to Ryan Matthews. Now on this side to Chris Sanders. He went for the split back formation on that change. There's a quarterback sack. Everything broke down. Dropped back at the 30. Corey Pulling. Byrne and Matthews are off to the right side. And Sanders is the split in left. Pulling again to the line of scrimmage. Split backs. And it'll be a delay out of the backfield to Thomas. Looking for the left side. Has some good yardage to the 45. Hits somebody helmet up. On a second down and about oh, what, 16 or 17. 17. Yeah, he carries across the 45. 25 second clock is down to 13 as the Aggies come to the line of scrimmage. Gross is the fullback. Thomas is the tailback. Clay is the tight end. We have a slot formation. Sent Thomas in motion to the right, rolling in that direction. Throw the ball to Thomas at the 50. Has a first down as he's knocked down at about the 47-yard line. First down and 10. Aggies operate at the Houston 47. Hash mark to the right side. Straight drop pull. A deep pocket. Now he starts to dance. Forced out of the pocket. Throwing back to the left. Caught on the sideline. That'll be caught by Ryan Matthews. They'll spot him out of bounds inside the 40 at the 39-yard line. AM will come back to the line in a moment, needing three for a first down. Burn split in to the left side. Out to the right, Matthews. They'll keep it on the ground as it comes to McElroy. Turns the corner at the 40. Got a great block. He's at the 30. Run out of bounds at the 26-yard line. 26. Bounced out there by Dedrick Mathis. Burn goes in the slot to the right. Sanders is out behind him, or out beside him, and on to his left in the slot as well as Leland McElroy. Detron Smith is the fullback. A&M snaps the ball, rolls right. Pullig looking down the field, pumps once. He's across the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball. Oh, darn. Yep. They're going to get him, uh, they Boy, caught just him a, right there. Just a foot or so across yeah. the line of scrimmage, but the referee was right at the line of scrimmage, and he saw what happened, line and of, they'll flag him. Line of scrimmage was the 26. He was at the 25 when he threw the football. Thomas back in at the tailback slot left, tight end right. Again, the Aggies will put the ball in the air under a blitz situation. Pass it to Thomas out of the backfield. At the 20, down inside the 15. Breaks the tackle, goes to the nine-yard line. Buddies are flying everywhere. And a flag came flying That's in. It's going to be a late hit, I think, against Houston. Now we got some uh, players going jaw to jaw down there. Caught him blitzing, read it well. Pulling then throwing to Thomas out of the backfield. He's caught three passes tonight. Oh, it's going to be against AM at the spot apparently of the tackle at the nine. Down to 13 seconds with no score here in the first quarter. Snap the ball, delay out of the backfield to Thomas. Starts to his right, goes back to his left. Caught, spun down like a rag doll at the 24-yard line. Two seconds, now a second, and that's the end of the first quarter with no score in the ball game. AM and Houston going at it in the Astrodome in Houston tonight. Let's take a break. Celebrating 100 years of football. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. Direct your attention to one of the best athletes on any field. And they come to the line of scrimmage. The ball's at the 24-yard line. Houston's into the field. Wilbert Biggins now has checked in. He lines up at the fullback position, and they have Leland McElroy at the tailback. And it's play action. Rolling right, looking to Biggins, and it's overthrown over his head at about the 18, and he was oh. wide open. Well, not only was he wide open, the Aggies had another wide receiver. I think that's Ryan Matthews down at the goal line wide open. Single setback is Gross. Pulling with a long count. Takes the snap. Drops back. Throws right. Going toward Hayward Clay. Overthrew him. He had beaten the linebacker at the five-yard line and overthrew him incomplete. 
It'll be spotted at the 31-yard line, a hash mark to the left. Stormy Case will hold, and Kyle Bryant, the young man from College Station, who is 8 of 10 in field goals this season, will attempt this one. 41 yards. Angle back to the right. Spotted down, kicks on its way, and this kick is no good. He missed it off to the right side. Houston shows a trips formation to the right, wide out to the left, no tight end, and a single setback. That's the fullback, Burton. Helton, long count, straight drop, wants to throw. Quarterback sack at the 16-yard line. Eddie and Jasper. Eddie Jasper. Yes, it is. Jasper will get his first quarterback sack of the season. Just a bull rush right up the middle over the center. He just beat uh, the center for U of H. Drop back at the, they'll spot him down at about the 18. It's a delay out of the backfield to, uh, Mc, that'll be uh, Jermaine Williams, and Williams crosses the 20, goes to about the 22. Keith Mitchell will bring him down. Third and 12. Ball is at the Houston 22. They have two wideouts left, one right out to the right, on a single setback. And again, it'll be Jermaine Williams. There was movement. Apparently not. Snap the ball. Helton throws. He is hit as he throws. No first down. Ball's caught at the 32-yard line. It will be fourth down. Billy Mitchell standing at the 30. Stoff tonight, 45, 34, and 39. Kicks the ball. It hits on the far side of the field and goes down the sideline. Did not kick out of bounds. Gets a great roll for Houston inside the 15, down to the 11-yard line. He kicked away from Mitchell, and he got one of those weird bounces. First down and 10, ball at the Aggie 11-yard line, a hash left. McElroy and Smith are the running backs. Long count by quarterback Corey Pullig. Calvin Collins now has come back in at center. It will go to McElroy. Tries the middle. A little, uh, well, soft there for a moment. Then it gets tough on him. He got about, uh, they're going to give him the 13. Danny McCray is the split end on the right. He's outside Chris Ruman. Goes again to McElroy. Breaks a tackle in the backfield. Down the sideline at the 30. Breaks another tackle there. 35, 25. Now across the 30. There's a flag down back at the 25-yard line. Dropped at the 34 was Leland McElroy. He was going after, uh, McCray was going after his mouthpiece. 21 yards on the run by Leland McElroy. And, and definitely a face mask penalty. The replay showed it clearly. But this is a big penalty. A 15-yard face mask will move the Aggies close to midfield at their own 49. Give them the run plus 15. 15 more. Aggie snapped the ball and handed off to Rodney Thomas. Line of scrimmage was the AM 49. Rodney broke a tackle behind the line and developed that for two yards to the Houston 49 yard line. Tied in on this side, Hayward Clay. Split in his burn. Flanker will be Ryan Matthews. Pulling takes the ball. Play action. Wanting to throw back to the right. He will throw the football. He threw that over everybody's head. He's hit as he throws. Corey was just throwing that football away to avoid the sack. Threw it right over Hayward Clay's head where nobody could touch it. Standing down about the 20. Here's the play first. Here's the pitch to McElroy outside across the 40. Goes to the 36-yard line, Leland McElroy. We have an injured player on the field for Houston. And it apparently looks like a linebacker. The injured Cougar was Chad Shaw, a linebacker who went off under his own power. Break the huddle on a second down and a long eight. Pumping, pulling, throwing deep, man open. It is Matthews, and it is a touchdown. He caught it at the six, tightrope the sideline into the end zone, Ryan Matthews. Oh, and what a nice job. A nice touch on the football for Corey Pulling. Dropping it in right to Matthews with a little pump fake that got Matthews open about the 10-yard line. Matthews tiptoeing down the sideline, somehow staying in bounds, and he gets the Aggies' first points of the tonight at the 10:33 mark of the second quarter. Kyle Bryant will attempt the extra point, 10 out of 12 in that department. He has missed a 41-yard field goal here in tonight's ball game. Stormy Case is holding. Here's the spot. The extra point he is on the board. Seven to nothing. Texas A&M at the 10:33 mark. A 36-yard touchdown pass to Ryan Matthews. Made a great catch, and then had to tightrope the near sideline to get it into the end zone.
It took them five plays to go 89 yards. Uh, they got a touchdown pass uh, from Corey Pullard to Ryan Matthews of 36 yards. They lead it seven to nothing. Here is the kick. You take it on the far side of the field at the three, back to the 10, breaks the tackle at the 15, coming wide to the right, drug down from behind at the 20-yard line. Typhoon McMullen on the kickoff team for Texas A&M. Clay Helton has Jay McGuire lined up, single setback behind him. Straight drop, sets the pocket at the 13, a hit, and he completes the pass. That thing went straight up in the air, and McGuire standing at the 20, waited for it to come down. He almost had to call a fair catch. Uh, 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 he should have. <laughs> McGuire stays in as the running back, has 23 carries, 73 yards. They'll hand off to McGuire. Gets by the uh, initial charge by a and then hit as he hits the 20, at the 23. Chris Harrell, the tight end. Now McGuire steps in, and he asked Helton the same thing. I guess, what's the play or the count? Single setback. Delay out of the backfield. McGuire, he'll go across the 25 to about the 28-yard line. No first down on a third down call. Typhoon McMullen in there. And once again, you would anticipate that the Aggies will get good field position. Aggies are coming. They don't get to him, however. That's more detainment than anything else. Here's the catch made by Mitchell at the 22. Goes across the 30, out to about the 33-yard line. Billy Mitchell, the uh, lone uh, return man, took it at the 22, returns it to the 32, and the Aggies have it there. All right, first down and 10 at the 32-yard line. Ash to the right side. The running backs are Gross and Thomas. Long count. Pulling puts a man in motion back toward the middle of the field. Pitch it to Rodney Thomas to the left side. Turns the corner. Wrapped up behind the line at the 31-yard line. Nice play by Reggie Davis, a redshirt uh, freshman out of Duncanville. Hunter Goodwin in for Chris Ruman at the right tackle. Calvin Collins returned to the ball game after going out for a while. Bullock throws the ball deep over the middle. Has a man. It's McCray. However, taken away by Houston. Interception at the 40. Triple coverage on Danny McCray at the 40-yard line. Taken away by Alfred Young. So an interception. Turnover against the Aggies. They intercept as Houston at the 40. First down and 10. Single setback. And a slot to the left. Wide out on the right. Here's Helton being hit as he throws. Intercepted by Texas A&M. Oh, no, out of bounds. Was out of bounds uh, but we're going to look at this uh, on the replay. Look at it one more time. That wow. Was, they just had it on instant replay on the diamond division here. He had both feet in bounds. Mm. Oh, well. The official on the uh, spot on the far sideline said that Greer was out of bounds. West in motion, right now back to left again. AM coming on the blitz. A handoff in the backfield to Jermaine Williams, and he'll be caught at the 35. Too much traffic in the backfield. Helton takes the snap, short drop, throws his hit as he throws. Daniel Adams lost it out of bounds at the 40 incomplete. So the turnover doesn't hurt, even though it stops a drive for the Aggies. Welcome our affiliates, KCLA and Glen Rose, KCKW in Hamilton, and KWRD and KGRI uh, in Henderson. Here's stopped in the kick, nice and kick. it's a good one. Mitchell all the way back to the 13. Starts the return across the 20 to the 30. About the 31-yard line. He got a great block here as he went by some traffic at the 25 and then went to the 31-yard line. Texas A&M with the football at their 31. Hand off in the backfield. Goes to Rodney Thomas. Started back to the uh, right. Now goes back to the left. And he is gang tackle. A lot of traffic all over the field. Wilbur Biggins... He is now the tailback. Cliff Gross is the fullback. Biggins goes in motion out of the tailback position. Straight drop by Pulling. Sets up, throws, going to the sideline. It's going to be caught at the 47 across the 50. Out of bounds. Wilbert Biggins goes at the Houston 46-yard line. What a well-designed play. Houston going with a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. They bring Biggins from the tailback position, run him on a cor corner route, and he gets coverage by the linebacker, Keon Banks. And it's a total mismatch. Good throw, great play by the Aggies, and they're into Cougar territory at the 46-yard line. Leland McElroy will not spot Thomas. Play action, Pulling throwing to the right, and it is in and out of the hands of Kevin Byrne. Here's a second down and 10. Pulling now moving Rodney Thomas off to the left side. Trips formation off to the left. Straight drop, Pulling looking. Now throws to Matthews across the line of scrimmage down to the 37-yard line. 
Two fullbacks. Pitch it left side to Thomas. Looking for a block on the corner. Got it. Crosses the 35. Goes to the 33. The Aggies have a first down with 4.51 to go. Aggies trying to pick up their fifth win of the season in 24 Southwest Conference games in a row. In the flats, the ball goes to Thomas at the 30. Across the... 30 down to about the 26. A pass thrown in the flats to Rodney Thomas behind the line of scrimmage. Calvin Collins running from the center position all the way out in the flat to get a block for Rodney Thomas. McElroy the tailback. Ball goes to McElroy. Started inside. Goes back outside. Goes to the 25. Got a yard. And that'll be all. a will face now third down on about two. Tim Vordenbaum is replaced in the offensive line by Kobe Hagrack. The uh, freshman from Conroe. 6'5", 255 is in there at that left guard position. Chris Ruman is to his left. Two-step drop, throw the ball, caught by Matthews at the 20. That's a first down. Two wide outs on the right, split in on the left. No tight end on the ball game. Again in the flats, the ball goes this time to McElroy at the 20. At the 10, bumped out of bounds. Enough for a first down. Did he have it? Couldn't and tell where he went At the out. nine. At the okay. nine, it's first and goal. Texas A&M at the Houston nine. The hash mark to the left side. Detron Smith, the fullback, hand off to the tailback. McElroy hits inside, goes to the five. Second and goal from the five. Smith goes in motion to the left side. And the handoff goes to Rodney Thomas. And that goes to the four-yard line. That's it. Now A&M will face a third and goal from the Houston four. Rodney Thomas in the slot here on the right side. Three wideouts in that direction. They're looking to the right, rolling, pumps, tosses. And it is caught in the end zone on a leaping catch by Chris Sanders. You dialed the number, Dave, and you called it right. Great call. They ran him inside, and then they ran him outside. He got coverage from John Brown, but John Brown wasn't tall enough to keep up with the 6'4 Sanders, Corey Pulling. Throwing the ball way up in the air. Chris Sanders brings it down. It's a touchdown for the Aggies. And a minute 30 to go until halftime. And AM now up 13 to nothing. We're going to get up here by Kyle Bryant. Stormy Case will hold. Stormy looking back at Kyle. Gets the OK. Snap the ball. Spots it down. The kick. And the Aggies lead 14 to nothing with 1.30 to go until halftime. We'll take a break celebrating 100 years of football. This is the Texas Aggie Network. Helton may be changing the plays, moving some folks around. He has a single setback in Jermaine Williams. And he's going to be sacked inside the 15. Back now they the want 12. a timeout. Now they <laughs> want to take a timeout. It's a five-yard loss, second and 15. Houston moving a receiver into a slot on the left side. Pitch it to Jermaine Williams around the right. About two yards as he gets it up to the 14. And a flag down about the 10-yard line in the backfield. Come out to the left side, Ron Peters. He's been pretty quiet tonight. Daniel Adams is inside him as a slot man. The tailback, Jermaine Williams, lines up in the end zone. Snap the ball, goes to Williams. Hits the left side, crosses the five, goes to about the eight or nine yard line with 48 seconds to go. High formation. Helton comes up from behind center. Says something to the flanker on the right to his two running backs. They've lined up in an eye. And it goes to Jermaine Williams, and he's caught and dropped inside the 10. He got back to about the line. Not even get the line of scrimmage. And line another timeout for the Aggies with 40 seconds left now. The Cougars will have to punt it back to the Aggies from their own end zone. He shares some mic time here with uh, David Hafton. The snap from center is a little bit low. Aggies are coming, but it's more detainment than anything else. Mitchell at the 45, dropped the ball, picked it up on the bounce. Goes back to the 50, got a block at the corner, and he returns it all the way across the 40 down to the 35. That was a great block that you hold your breath and look for a flag, but he That's had right. enough angle on the guy that he blocked. That was Trent Driver was Trent. with that block. <laughs> Aggies are going to work from a shotgun formation at the Houston 35, throwing the ball over the middle, caught then dropped down at the 25 by Chris Sanders. Sanders has his first touchdown reception of the season on the Aggies' second score of the evening. Bullock waits for the snap from Calvin Collins. Has it. A lot of pressure up the middle. Throws the ball to Sanders again at the 25. Looking for a block at the corner. Didn't get it. Goes out of bounds at the 20. There's a clip. Yep. That's a clip. That's the same kind of play we talked about on the punt return, only this time the official on the other side saw it as a clip. Yep. 15 seconds with which to work. Detron Smith stands beside uh, Corey Pulling as they line up in the shotgun. Five yards behind the line of scrimmage. Snap the ball. 
Letter high. Pumping once, throwing toward the end zone. Going down toward Brian Mitchell, stretching out, can't get it incomplete. Nine seconds to go until halftime. Pulling out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Stands into the pocket, throws over the middle. And it goes to Chris Sanders. He needs to get, get out, out of bounds. bounds. And he dives out of bounds at the 20 with one second. <laughs> he has at least one field goal in each game. One out of three last week in the Tech game. It'll be spotted at the 27. Angle back to the left for the soccer-style kicker from AM Consolidated. Stormy Case will hold. 37-yard effort. Ball is snapped. Time runs out. Kicks on its way. Plenty of distance. And he got it. And that's halftime. It will go as a 37-yard field goal by Kyle Bryant. We're at halftime with the score. Texas A&M 17 and Houston nothing. We have a single return man, A&M does. McElroy standing at the 10. And the two up backs over on the far side. Cliff Gross here on the near side, Billy Mitchell. It's going to be a short, high kick. Mitchell at the 25. Going to the right side. Cutting it again to the right. Got to buy one man at the 30. Still going, stretching it out into the far uh, sideline. Out of bounds at the 38. High formation. Gross... And Thomas, it's play action. Pulling's going to throw on first down. Hit as he throws. It skips at the Houston 40 incomplete in front of the nearest receiver, Ryan Matthews. Hunter Goodwin starts at the right tackle position. Jeff Jones is back in there. Hand off to Rodney Thomas. Good yardage. Has a first down across the 50 to the 49. There is a flag down at the spot of the tackle. Gets a face mask against Houston at the spot of the foul at the tackle run at the 49-yard line. Gordon Bauman and Richard are the guards. Calvin Collins is the center. Jones and Goodwin are the tackles. The tight end, Hayward Clay, starting tonight uh, for James McKeon. He's slowed by a back injury. Aggies with a heavy eye. Play action. Set the pocket at the 50. Throw back to Matthews. Catches the ball. Has a first down at the Houston 34-yard line. Caught it for about 10 and a half. Ryan, now we've got him. Is that was six? That's number six. That's that was his good best for ever. That's 75 his, yards. That's the most receptions for Ryan Matthews in a game in his career at AM. He's had five on two other occasions. Split back formation. Pulling had trouble trying to hold on to the snap. And he just threw the ball. 14.08 to go. Second down and 10. AM at the 34 yard line. Houston's end of the field. Slot formation to the left, split backs, tie it in, short side of the formation on the right. Pulling takes the snap, drops back, and will be caught. And as he throws, it is incomplete. Caught as he's throwing, incomplete out at the 35. Third down and 10. AM again to the line of scrimmage. The ball marked at the 34. Two wide outs on both sides of the ball. Shotgun formation. Houston with four men up front. Ball is snapped. Pulling will, no, it's going to be sacked. Back outside the 40 at about the 43. Aggies will face a fourth down at about 19. John Terry back to punt, standing at the AM 43. Line of scrimmage, the Houston 43. Here's the punt. And we'll hit it about the nine. Roll into the end zone. They'll bring that one out to the 20. First down and 10. The ball brought out to the 20 after the punt went into the end zone. Adams in motion back toward the middle of the field. It goes to the tailback. Has yardage at the 30 at the 32, 33-yard line. Goes Jermaine Williams. Bobby Rodriguez is the fullback. Motion from Adams back to the left side. Have a split in in that direction. Tight end right again. Another delay out of the backfield goes to Williams. Two yards to the 34. Ash mark to the right. Clay Elton, the quarterback, straight drop, sets the pocket, throwing over the middle, has a man deep, intercepted and then dropped. No, oh, it's going to be caught, caught by Donovan Greer. He intercepted the ball, went to the turf down at the Houston 27-yard line. A little too deep to the intended receiver, Ron Peters. But Donovan Greer in beautiful position. Hauls it in for the Aggies, and they'll take over at their own 28-yard line. About the, actually about the 26-yard line. First down and 10, Texas A&M Greer's second interception of the season. 
Aggies to the line of scrimmage. The last drive took it deep. Then a quarterback sack took it deep into Houston territory. Quarterback sack of Pulling stopped that drive. Pulling short pocket throws, and that's going to be was it caught or no? We couldn't yeah, see it. It is caught. It. Danny, Danny McRae. McRae diving at the 35, caught the ball on the Aggie sideline. Kevin Byrne is the uh, flanker. Split back formation. Smith and McElroy. Straight drop again. Pull it. Going deep once more. Left sideline. McCray and the defender Brown fighting for it about the 20. Third down and about uh, a yard and a half. Line of scrimmage the 35. Keep it on the ground. Rodney almost dropped the handoff. He'll pick up the first down to the 40-yard line. Rodney Thomas took the handoff from Corey Pullig. Almost dropped the ball. McElroy is the tailback. Detron Smith is the fullback. Brandon Ward is in again at center. Motion from McElroy to the right side where two receivers had lined up. Throw the ball behind McElroy. Because we're right at 300 on the Aggies in total offense. Here's the play. A lot of pressure in the backfield. McElroy caught a pass in the flats. And there is a tackle made after he gets across the line of scrimmage at the 43-yard. Twin wideouts on both sides of the ball. Pulling out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. Pressure up the middle. Steps back out of the back sack on Pulling Inside the 40 at about the 38-yard line. Sean Terry. Line of scrimmage is the 38. He stands back at the Aggie 23. The return man is Lawrence McPherson at the Houston 22. Looks like detainment along the line of scrimmage. Long count. Still counting. It's snapped a little high. Kicks away. Good kick by Terry. It will be taken at the 25. The returns back to the 30. At the 35. At the 40. Caught from behind at the 44-yard line. Clay Helton has been sacked twice by AM and the wrecking crew. First down and 10 at the 43 for Houston. Helton may be calling a audible here as he has switched from a eye to a split back formation. Takes the ball, wants to throw. Does back to the right, and it goes incomplete at the Aggie 47. A good wham applied there on the tight end, Chris Harold by Michael Hurricane Hendricks. Incomplete, second and ten. Motion shown here by Houston Adams going right to left. Two wideouts, now three on that side of the field. And uh, Helton looks back to his left, throws the ball, and it's uh, on a oh, deflection wow. and caught by Houston. The ball went through the hands of the first receiver, and the second receiver standing behind him at the 38 caught the ball and went down immediately. The reception was made by Charlie West. Their he, deepest penetration of the night. They have not scored in the third quarter this year. Twin wideouts to the right. Out of the backfield it goes to Jermaine Williams. He got a yard. West, and uh, also that'll be Damian Johnson here on the right. a and coming up the middle. The ball is snapped. Helton went down on a knee. There are flags as a and crossed the uh, line of scrimmage. Well, the Aggies trying to time out a blitz. Got caught for offsides. The center snapping the ball as soon as they jumped in the neutral zone. 8.03. Five yards. 8.03 to go now. By the way, it's a great crowd, and it's very much an a and crowd. Second down and five, single setback. And it'll go to the uh, running back, Jermaine Williams, and he will get the 30. All right, AM uh, trying to move some people around as Houston comes to the line of scrimmage on a third down and two. Slot to the left, they break the slot. Flinker right, tight end on the right, single setback. West now goes right back to left. Handoff goes to Jermaine Nothing. Williams, and he got the 30-yard line, and that's it. Brandon Mitchell right there in the backfield. Decision time for Kim Helton, the Houston head coach. It'll be fourth down and two. What will he do? Slot to the left. Flaker right. A&M looks like they're coming on a blitz. Helton now moving some people around. He brings in the uh, Flaker closer to the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap, under pressure, throws the ball. It's caught by West for a first down at the Aggie 21-yard line. He goes out of bounds. This is their best possession of the night. Rodriguez is the fullback, tailback Williams. They're going to pitch it to Williams, try on the left side, cuts it back inside to the right at the 10. He will go down at the 10-yard line. First down, Houston. At the Aggie, just outside or inside the 10. We'll see where the spot is. It's going to be outside the 10. 
Here comes Houston to the line of scrimmage. AM would love to get a turnover here. Rodriguez the fullback. The tailback is Jermaine Williams. Adams goes in motion. Timeout, Houston. Houston is giving AM everything they want here tonight. Maybe a little bit more. First and 10 from the 10 and a half. Split back formation. Hand off to Jermaine Williams. Tries the middle. Gets the eight. Second down. And about seven and a half or so. They can get right to the lip of the cup. Pitch it left. Jermaine Williams uh, got about a yard. Started left then took it back to his right over the left side of the offensive line. Likely to put it in the air here. Slot formation to the left and a single set back to tailback Jermaine Williams. Helton dropped the Fumble. snap from center. And the ball is free on the it. ground and the Aggies have recovered at the six yard line. We'll check to see the last man off the ball. Helton fumbled the snap from center. One of the Houston players is trying to wrestle it away from one of the Aggies at the five right now. Well, it's already been decided, so they might as well give yeah, it up. And it's been recovered by Brandon, Brandon Mitchell. Mitchell. First and ten, Texas A&M. They dodge a bullet. Well, let's see if this will be a spark for both sides of the ball. Let's see if the Aggie offense can get some points. Tailback Leland McElroy takes the handoff. Hits in the middle. Goes at about the nine-yard line. We'll get three. They're, they're stacking the line of scrimmage and trying to make the Aggies throw the football. 298 total offense now for Texas A&M. Split backs. Bullock will throw the ball. He's going to throw it to Kevin Byrne out to the 15-yard line. That's going to be a yard shy of a first down. And they come in with a short yardage offense. Right. Mahone and Clay. Full house backfield. Bullock. Pitch it to McElroy, looking for the 15, looking for the 16. He got the 16. That's going to be close oh, for him. I think I he's going to be a little bit short. I think he is, too. The chains have just arrived at the football. And it's stretched, and uh, they did not get it. The short. length of a football. Twice tonight he's been asked to pooch kick it. This time he'll want to get all he can. He's standing at the one. The line of scrimmage is the 16-yard line. Lawrence McPherson. He is now standing. He's counting, uh, actually, uh, his punt return team. He's counting the members on that team. He's now moved uh, across the 50 to the Houston 45-yard line. Snaps a little low. Controlled by Terry. It's a good boomer. It will be taken at the 38. Return goes back to the left. McPherson will be caught at the 39. Good coverage. Yeah, great coverage at the 39. Houston will have the football with 2.46 to go in the third. First down and 10. Houston with the ball operating from their 39, almost the 40. I don't think that uh, there was no, I don't there think was there no was contact. Well, but he snapped it while he was in the neutral zone. Let's see what they call. There's no flags. They snapped the ball thinking they had the Aggies in the neutral zone, but Brandon Mitchell got back. Calling. You're right. So it's going to be second down and 11. Second down and 11, slot left, flanker right, single setback. Helton straight drop, sets up the pocket of the 31, throws over the middle, and it's deflected and incomplete. Michael Hendricks was trying to come back to get to the ball. Third down again and 11 yards. It's been a strange series for Houston. Two wideouts on the right. Both have lined up in the backfield. Tight ends on that direction as well. Here's a short pocket. Shallow pocket by Helton. Got away from one man. Now throws. Coming back to get the ball as the receiver. West and West is knocked out of bounds. He caught it at the 45. Went out of bounds at the 44. Not enough for a first down. Here is Jason Stoff. Will take the snap at the 28. Steps forward. Pressure up the middle. Another nice kick. Here's Mitchell dropping back. Will take it at the 9. The return is to the 20. Bumped out of bounds at the 25. Billy Mitchell took it at the 9, returned it to the 25. Here are the Aggies, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Play action, pulling, throwing over the middle, and it's Hayward Clay, and he drops the ball. Off his fingertips, it goes incomplete at the 40-yard line. Gross is the fullback. Thomas gets the handoff from the tailback position at the 25 at the 30. About the 33 will go Rodney Thomas. Mike Parker, the number two tackler on this ball club. Freshman out of Houston will make that stop. On a third down and about three. Break the eye. Thomas in motion to the right side. Pulling, rolling to the right. Throws the ball. Hits Rodney Thomas, and he is wrapped up immediately. Caught it at the line of scrimmage. Got a half yard. It's fourth down, and it'll be punt time. Fourth and about two. Once again, it'll be Sean Terry. 
His last punt was good for 47 yards. Takes it at the 19. Here's the punt. It's a good spiral. McPherson at the 25. And they're right on top of him. He got away from one man, got away from three more. And now Gross will wrap him up at the 28-yard line. First down and 10. Clay Helton, play action, started left, comes back to his right, dancing around, throws the ball under a whole lot of pressure into the Aggie bench at about the 35-yard line. Now they break the huddle and they come to the line of scrimmage. Ron Peters goes to the left side. Daniel Adams on the right, tied in on the right in the split-back formation. Helton sets the pocket at the 20, throws deep over the middle, has nobody there, goes incomplete at the 35-yard line. Donovan Greer was about 10 yards away along with Ron Peters. Jay McGuire is the lone setback. Two wideouts on the right with a slot in that direction, flanker left. Third down and 10. Helton has the ball, throws from the pocket, and a nice hit up yes. wide as Ron Peters saw the ball and Mickens hit him and knocked him down as soon as the ball hit him in the hands and it went back down the field about five yards. <laughs> Great timing by Ray Mickens Ooh. to get there just as the ball did. Excellent timing. They are 0-11 on third down conversions tonight. 0-11. They're 32% into this ball game. They've not converted on third down tonight. It's fourth and ten. Aggies are coming. They blocked the ball. It's rolling free at the ten on the punt. Picked up by Typhoon McMullen at the nine. I think Dennis Allen came spurting through. I think he's the Allen one who got it. I think he's the one who took it off the foot, blocked the punt. It was a low snap, picked up at about the at about the 15-yard line, and then blocked by Dennis Allen. And then Tyful McMullen picked it up and then fell on it at the nine-yard line. That's the end of the third. The Aggies lead 17 to nothing. Total yardage 312 for the Aggies, 118 for Houston. Split box handed off to Rodney Thomas, right side. The five hits a man fighting for the end zone. Touchdown, Rodney Thomas. A nine-yard carry for the senior from Groton. Plenty of time to get him there. Stormy Case. Etron Smith was late getting out there. Stormy Case will hold. Kyle Bryant will try to put the 24th point of the night on the board here for the Aggies at the 14.55 mark in the fourth. And he did it. It's now 24 to nothing. Texas A&M leading Houston after the block punt. They did it in one play. Keith Waggis pack has it teed up. Houston's deployed three deep. They're all standing about the six-yard line. Here's the kick. It's a cruise kick end under end. Middleman Delmonico Montgomery picks it up, drops it, gets by the first wave, gets it out to the 21. Delmonico Montgomery. Aggies now have scored more points in the fourth quarter this season than any quarter in any ball game. Quentin Brown's in the ball game too. Here's a handoff to Williams the tailback looking for the left side wrestled to the ground by Typhle McMullen at about the 22 or 23. Burton is the fullback. Jermaine Williams is the tailback. Uh, it's an eye. Helton on a delay goes to Williams out to about the 25 or 26 yard line. That was a second and nine. Third down and a little more than six. Straight drop Helton throws it caught over the middle by the fullback Burton at the 30 out to the 35 first down flag down at the point of the uh, tackle well so they're gonna penalize them back to the 25 yard line yeah, and repeat third down it'll be third in uh, holding repeat third down yeah ball is spotted on the hash mark on the left side they have just the single setback Jermaine Williams transfer out of North Carolina done a good job for him tonight Hilton, straight drop, throws right, ball caught by West, and he's wrestled to the ground at the 27-yard line. That's way short of a first down. Billy Mitchell stands at the 45. May get good field position on this one. 12.53 to go. High snap, no pressure. It's going to be a short kick. It's going to hit and roll. It gets an Aggie, uh, actually a Houston bounce. Hit at about 48. And Houston's end of the field. Rolled across the 15 into the sideline at the 38-yard line. Calvin Collins over the ball. Warden Bauman left guard and uh, Jeff Jones is the left tackle. Hayward Clay is the tight end. Break the eye. McElroy went in motion. 
Here's the handoff to Detron Smith. Oh, that's a nice carry as he goes across the 45 to about the 47-yard line. Up the middle, Detron went. Detron Smith brought down by Keon Banks. Quickly to the line of scrimmage comes the AM offense. Detron Smith again is the fullback. It's a straight eye. McElroy, the tailback. Pullet will put McElroy in motion again. Going back to the right side. Hand off once more to Detron. Has a first down across the 50. Goes to the 49. First down, Texas A&M. Has a, and once more, a man in motion. That's Biggins coming back to the right side. They break the split back formation. Now there are flags. I don't see any flags, but they, oh, it's down in, the, down in the backfield. Oh, delay. That's what it is. Uh, no of, play. Delay of game against the Aggies. It's first and 10, so they'll back them up to the 45. First down and... 15 from the Aggie 45. Smith and Biggins again are the running backs, and it's a heavy eye. Now Biggins in motion, goes to the right side, short side of the formation. Pulling from the pocket, throwing deep, has Biggins wide open at the 30, at the 10, at the 5, a touchdown, Wilbert Biggins. Well, that was the play they were going to run that they didn't get off. They run Wilbert Biggins in motion to the right side. I'm amazed that the Cougars were not prepared for that because the play was run previously but was called back for the delay. It's a corner route by Wilbert Biggins. He's on a linebacker. It's a total mismatch. Great throw by Corey Pulick. He catches it at full stride right over his shoulder, and he takes it the distance for the Aggie touchdown. 55 yards. That's the second longest pass of the season prior to that, 57. Wilbur Dickens good for long range tonight. That's his second catch for a total of 82 yards. Put him in motion out of the split back formation. Here's the extra point. It's going to be good by Kyle Bryant. And the Aggies now make it a 31 to nothing ball game over Houston. 31 nothing with 11.08 to go. So they took it on their 38 yard line. Uh, moved 62 yards in three plays. A touchdown, a 55 yarder from Corey Pollock to Wilbert Biggins. Squib kick will be picked up at the 18 on the return. That'll be Ryan uh, Burton. And he goes across the 30 to about the 34 yard line. 31 to nothing now. Motion from Mouton going to the right side. They have three wideouts. Now they're bringing him back this way. He'd gone the wrong way, and Helton moved him back to the left. We got a new quarterback. That's not Helton. It's uh, Chad O'Shea. Here's a pass, and uh, it'll be defensive pass interference on one of the Aggies against Larry Walker. Pass first and 10. Jay McGuire, the single setback. O'Shea, under a lot of pressure, throws it to McGuire out of the backfield at the 50, down to the 45, to the 44-yard line. Down to the Aggie, 44, goes Jay McGuire. Slot right, flanker left. McGuire stays as the single setback. O'Shea. Delay out of the backfield, and McGuire gets the 40. The 40 to the 39, he goes. Petrie in a slot. Actually, two men lined up in the backfield. Mouton is the other. Chad O'Shea puts the ball in the air. And that will be caught, and it is a touchdown. Houston to Ron Peters. Caught it at the one. Fell across the goal line into the end zone. Billy Mitchell and Dennis Allen were back deep with him. Great catch by... Uh, Ron Peters, 39 yards. He was covered up, and he did a good job. He just got his second touchdown of the season. They've gone 11 quarters without scoring. The extra points by Kraft is good. That makes it 31 to 7 at the 9:43 mark. Tees it up on the hash mark to the far side at the 35. AM has nobody deep. Uh, they may be trying an onside, onside kick. And it is an onside kick, and it'll be uh, falling on by one of the Aggies. I think they got uh, it. Maybe Houston did come up with a ball. They find uh, it went the necessary 10 yards. They did, get it. they did get the ball. An onside kick recovered by Houston at the Houston 47 yard line. DeGroote and Peters both wide right. They're going to air it out. They will throw. Looks left, throws back to the right behind the line of scrimmage to DeGroote. Caught, goes across the 50 to about the 48-yard line. Jermaine Williams, the single setback. Two wide outs to the left. O'Shea throwing, caught by West for a first down at the 45, goes to the 40. Dennis Allen and junior wide back deep as the safety. Straight drop, deep pocket. O'Shea throws back to the left side. That's over the head of the intended receiver. 
Chad O'Shea, they've got a slot left. O'Shea takes the snap, delay out of the backfield to uh, Jermaine Williams. Got by the first man who was being chased by uh, the Aggies, Reggie Brown, and Dennis Allen came up. They have Julian Petrie. And also Mouton here on the left side of the tight ends also on that side of the formation. Short drop throw, ball caught then dropped by Peters at the point needed for the first down at the 30. They're going to have to hustle here. They're down to seven seconds on the play clock. O'Shea, fourth down call. Need eight. Straight drop. He's going to be sacked back outside the 45 at about the 46-yard line. Trent Driver. Driver sacked him. Third sack of the night for the wrecking crew. Running backs are Gross and McElroy. Handed off to Leland McElroy. Up the middle he goes. He got the line of scrimmage. Stopped at the 44. Ball just past the 44, almost the 45. McElroy in motion to the left. Play action. Case throwing over the middle. And it will be intercepted and then dropped. Here's a third down play. Play action. Case throws. And it is incomplete. A fourth down coming up. Now those are his first passes. Here is the punt by Sean Terry. There is a flag down. Apparently they're going to get to Houston for running into the kicker. The ball will be killed at the 12-yard line. Ticket office is open. 1-800-800-7928 for tickets to that game. The Rice of the TCU game. Single setback McGuire. Playing up. going to hand off to McGuire. He's going to be caught behind the line. And he'll be dropped back at the 11-yard line. Two-yard loss. Single setback. Jermaine Williams is back in. O'Shea, not a deep pocket at all. Throws back to Peters here at the 20-yard line. And a nice tackle there by Philip Myers at the 20. Can't hear you yell unless you're there. Here's the third down play. O'Shea looking to his right under some pressure. There's a quarterback sack. That's the fifth of the night on O'Shea. Back at the 15-yard line. Number five. That is 27 now for the season unofficially. That's our unofficial count. Marcus Hurd sacked him. That's his first sack of the season. That is one better than the 1991 AM defense, which set the sacks in a season at 56. Call that a coverage sack. O'Shea not able to find a receiver open anywhere. Good coverage in the secondary. 27 sacks for the year. It's just been blocked again, and it's been picked up in midair by Dennis Allen, and he scored a touchdown. The putt blocked Junior by Junior White. White. And on the deflection, straight up in the air, Dennis Allen got it and ran it into the end zone for a touchdown. All of about a one-yard run. Stormy Case will hold. Kyle Bryant is about to uh, attempt the extra point. And this one is good. And the Aggies now lead the game by a score of 38 to 7. 38 to 7, Texas A&M leading Houston here in the dome with, uh, is there a flag down? Yes, flag down is. on the field with 4.33 remaining. They have it teed up to the Aggies at the 50-yard foul against Houston. Here's Waggis Pack. In under in the cruise kick. Montgomery, now it'll be Burton at the goal line. At the, he falls down at the four. This, this was a planned play and an excellent call with the Aggies so far at the, kicking at the 50-yard line. You kick a high kick. Your coverage team is very close to the kick. They wanted him to field the ball so they could pin him down inside the 10. Tonight, a block at the nine, scored on that, and a block at the goal line, caught and returned. Handoff is in the backfield to Jermaine Williams. He gets it across the five to about the seven. And about their uh, 40, 47 yard line. Here's a handoff again to Jermaine Williams across the 10 to the 11. That was second down. 340 to go in the game. And it'll set up a third and three situation for Cougars at the 11 yard line. Here's Houston trying a third down pass to the 15. It goes incomplete. They were trying to get it to DeGroote. Aggie's thinking maybe they might have something on, so they've double covered a receiver here on the uh, left side. Again, a low snap. Gets the kick away. It's a high one. Billy Mitchell will watch it hit and uh, has it go out of bounds at the 34. All right, Emerson, first down and 10 A&M at their 34. He'll keep it on the ground. It's going to go to Wilbert Biggins. He has a nice 40. He goes to the 43-yard line. Todd Matheson's in the offensive line. Ryan Kern 
Brandon Ward is the center. Here's another handoff to Biggins. Biggins down the sideline. He just put his helmet right in one of the Cougars' chest and knocked him out of bounds at midfield at the 50. That's a first down for Texas A&M. Biggins again with a nice carry. Emerson back to the line of scrimmage. Toby Hackrad also in that offensive line now for the Aggies. Biggins in motion. Emerson wants to throw the ball. He is going to be sacked, however, back at the 44-yard line. Matthews way out to the left side. Peterson and Biggins are the running backs. Emerson with a long snap count. Takes it, hands off to Biggins. Biggins got a lead block, fights his way to the 50-yard line. He got six yards for the last five times. They've been over 30 points against Houston. Play action. Emerson throwing. It is deflected and incomplete down at about the 35-yard uh, line. Sean Terry at the 35. Line of scrimmage is the 50. Lawrence McPherson, the return man at the 10. Houston was coming up the middle, couldn't get to him. Kicks it off to the 15-yard line, and it took a Houston bounce. Is killed by the Aggies at about the 16 with 33 seconds remaining in the ball game. Mouton to the right side. O'Shea stays in as the quarterback for Houston. And he will hand it off at the field. And caught and dropped by Trent Driver back at about the 16. He will be a reserve running back in the ball game for uh, Houston. Now nine. Six seconds. They'll snap the ball one more time. And they'll pitch it to the right side once again. On the ground to the 20, and the ball game is over with. That's the game, and the Aggies have won it 38 to 7 to go, 5 and 0 oh for the season. Final score: Texas A&M 38, and Houston 7.